So the next step is uh, just sending all this data to our graphics card memory. And uh, we are doing it by generating so-called uh, vertex buffer object. So VBO is GL gen buffers and one and uh, we need to bind the buffer so G oh, not capital but GL bind uh, buffer and uh, array buffer and the VBO and we created a vertex buffer object on the GPU and it's binding an array buffer uh, to the active VBO and the next is uh, uploading the actual data which is this to that to that array buffer and we are doing that with the GL buffer data GL buffer data and the type is GL array buffer not the type but uh, to the array buffer we created here and uh, size in bytes which means these are these are float values each has four bytes and we have nine of these so nine times four is 36 and uh, three, um, this is the actual uh, array and the gl static draw static draw and wait a second uh, yes <clears throat> gl static draw the final is very important its value depends on the usage of the vertex data we are using GL static draw and the vertex data will be uploaded once and drawn many times and there, there are also GL dynamic draw the vertex data will change from time to time but drawn many times more than that and uh, GL stream draw which is the vertex data will change almost every time it's drawn so we're gonna stick with the first geostatic draw. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna set a position variable, and this will be equal to the gl get at rib low location yes here get attribute location in the shader program shader. and the attribute name is position so with this line we are getting the this input vector for position in the shader program so the shader program is this and we are getting from this the position location which is here input vector for position and uh, the next thing is GL 
vertex attrib attrib pointer yes vertex attrib pointer no so with this we can specify how the data is retrieved from the from the array and uh, position it's, it's uh, the first argument references the input the number of vertices which is we have three remember x y z one vertex x y z second vertex and x y z for the third vertex uh, so three Type of each component, which is GL float. Uh, type of e each component, and uh, the next parameter that it should be normalized between minus one and one. So we are gonna give it GL false. Uh, GL false. Number of vertices. Type of each comma should be normalized between one and one. And the next um, argument is the stride, or how many bytes are between each position, uh, each position attribute in the array. So we're gonna give it zero. And the last is the offset, or how many bytes from the start of the array uh, the attribute occurs. So I'm gonna give it just none. Okay. wanted to do next so okay then next is just enabling uh, enable vertex attribute array yes and give it the position okay Yes, just tell it to use the uh, shader program. So use program and shader. Okay. And the last step is just draw the triangle. So we're gonna do this in the render loop draw a race specify the type of the uh, that we want to draw so gl triangles gl triangles and uh, next position uh, the next attribute is uh, how many vertices uh, to skip at the beginning so zero and uh, number of vertices to process which we have three vertices so now I think it should be okay so let's try it uh-huh we have an error. I think I know. Yes. Uh -huh. We need we need to convert this Python floats into into thirty thirty two bit floats because I think by default Python. Um, uses 
64 bit for floats so doubles so that's why we in, uh, installed numpy <coughs> so now uh, triangle is equal to numpy dot array and the vertices and the type not vertices but triangle triangle and the type will be d type numpy dot uh, float float 32 so now these are converted to float 32 bit values so I think that's that will work now yes we have this beautiful red triangle The red comes from the fragment shader, we specified here the red value, but we, let's say we're gonna change it red, green to blue, and now we have blue. <coughs> 